Fans Beyond Wrestling, this is Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. Once again, we have another American Rana rematch being brought to you by NEFW coming from their event in Chicopee, Massachusetts on August 3rd. And it does not seem as though the fans here in Chicopee are responding to JT Dunn the way the fans in Providence, Rhode Island at FET Music did just a couple weeks ago. But then again, perhaps I've spoken too soon. I mean, JT does have his fair share of fans all around New England. But he cannot match the popularity, the poise, the presence of a competitor who has traveled the world like Johnny Gargano. And Johnny Gargano, perhaps he's a poor sport. Ripping up JT Dungeon sign so that he can hold his higher. Of course, Johnny Gargano, the current Dragon Gate USA Open, the Freedom Gate champion, was victorious over JT Dunn at American Rana in one of the most hard-fought matches on the entire card. It went back and forth. It could have gone either way at any point, and I certainly urge you fans, now that American Rana is available, now that it is shipping on DVD, available on video on-demand streaming, soon to be released on MP4, Go out of your way to see American Rana, Beyond Wrestling's biggest event to date. Bring that bell, let's go. Featuring the original contest, the first time ever, between Johnny Gargano and JT Dunn. Gargano was victorious at American Rana. Has Dunn learned from his mistakes? And can he knock off the Open the Freedom Gate champion? Just like at American Rana, this one has a big fight feel. You know the fans here in Chicopee, Massachusetts, for NEFW like their wrestling. And once again, Johnny Gargano starting things off, getting one over on JT Dunn. Johnny Gargano with a bit of misdirection right there. JT Dunn thought he was looking to tie off instead. Gargano, earlier moments of this contest, already has his opponent down on his back, but don't count out JT Dunn. JT Dunn, I've seen him grow right before my very eyes as a competitor over the last two years since he first debuted for Beyond Wrestling at the World of Hurt taping. You know who tipped me off to this guy? Steve the Turtle Whiner. And since then, JT Dunn has seen remarkable growth not only in Beyond Wrestling, throughout the world of independent wrestling. Soon to be making his debut for Combat Zone Wrestling. But Johnny Gargano has done it all. Johnny Gargano with that side headlock applied. JT Dunn looking to use his opponent's momentum against him. But Gargano ricocheted hard off those ropes. He was able to take Dunn down with a shoulder tackle. Great execution, the arm drag from Dunn. But Gargano responds with one of his own. Sidesteps the super kick. Gargano able to get out of the way of the boot. And both these guys looking for kicks at the same time. And I think both guys had the right idea. All right. I think JT Dunn has gotten under the skin of Johnny Gargano. I don't think that Johnny Gargano anticipated that a wrestler that could be considered an unknown, at least when compared to Gargano, could go toe to toe with him. I think that really caught Gargano off guard. And let's not forget, JT Dunn has really modeled himself after Johnny Gargano over the past couple years. And I have to think that that's one of the reasons to be attributed to JT Dunn's continued success. It's one thing to study from one of the all-time greats, but to learn from a contemporary like Johnny Gargano, who is currently making wrestling history every day. Well, they can't go wrong with that. JT Dunn trying to find his second win. Sight set on Gargano in the corner. Oh, Gargano caught him with that kick. And JT Dunn fell hard to the floor. 
As quick as Gargano is, he is not known for his high-flying antics. And right there, that wrist could have cost him. JT Dunn not letting Johnny Gargano go through the ropes, connect with the suicide dive, but these guys have been trading kicks on the apron for a solid minute. Now look at a slingshot himself up and over. JT Dunn walked right into that one, that gutcha spear. Johnny Gargano was in no rush to end this one. I think if we saw a back and forth contest at American Rana, then Johnny Gargano wants to win decisively. He wants to make an emphatic statement. He wants to dominate JT Dunn to prove for once and for all that he is the better of the two competitors. Disrespectful, placing his form across the face of JT Dunn, making him expend the energy to kick out. JT Dunn trying to mount a comeback. Got a couple good shots in the abdomen. But once again, Gargano slowing things down. Not a pretty maneuver, but effective nevertheless, just dumping his opponent hard to the floor. Now he's got JT Dunn up against that guardrail. That's one thing that certainly separates the atmosphere in Chicopee, Massachusetts with the atmosphere at American Rana with all of the fans right up against the mat. JT Dunn caught Gargano off guard right there as Gargano was having a little bit of fun with that tiki torch on ringside. But Gargano right back in the driver's seat. Slamming JT Dunn face first on the mat just as the way the fans be on wrestling slam their hands on the mat at FET Music. We promise the most interactive pro wrestling on the planet, and I think at American Rana, we more than delivered. Of course, if you haven't yet, please pick up American Rana on DVD to see Beyond Wrestling's biggest live show to date, including the first ever contest between Johnny Gargano and JT Dunn. But these guys who have a little bit more room to fight around ringside than they did at American Rana, and it looks like they're gonna be exploiting their surroundings to their advantage. Although JT Dunn knows if he wants to win this match, he's gonna get Gargano back in the ring. It could have been a mistake. Perhaps he should have used his surroundings a bit more to his advantage because Gargano cut him off with that clothesline. This match not nearly as competitive as what we saw at American Rana. It's been a lot more one-sided with Gargano. Pretty much taking it to JT Dunn right from the onset of the bout. Now he's got both of JT Dunn's arms pulled behind his back while he pulls the neck of JT Dunn in the opposite direction. A very painful hold at the shoulders and the base of the neck. But JT Dunn was able to get one of those hands free. Now just firing shots to the face of Johnny Gargano. And Gargano bending the rules right here. Going to the nose and just blowing a kiss. For the fans watching at home. I think much like we saw with AR Fox and Anthony Stone. Johnny Gargano a little bit perturbed that a competitor that he was not too familiar with really took him to his limit at American Rana. Now with JT Tunnel on the ropes, the referee's issuing the count. Oh, Gargano caught him with that drop kick right to the sternum. Gargano's really torturing JT Dunn throughout this contest. And aside from that spear, JT's dead. Which had to have done some significant damage to the solar plexus of JT Dunn. We have not seen Johnny Gargano bust out any of the big guns yet. Has not attempted to connect with the Hertz Donut nor the Gargano escape. I'm telling you, Gargano wants an emphatic victory over JT Dunn. A dominating performance. And so far, he's going to be pretty happy with his handiwork. Looking for a suplex from that second rope. JT Dunn trying to find some separation. Easier said than done. Gargano with that forearm. 
And now JT uncharacteristically is gonna be looking to fly. Caught him flush with that drop kick. And this may be the opening that JT Dunn needed to create for himself. However, he cannot capitalize by getting over to his opponent to pin him. If, any, if anything, the receiving end of the beating that he has been on for the past few minutes, even that one drop kick, although it was enough to take Gargano off his feet, I think that Gargano's probably still gonna be in control of this contest. I could be wrong. Gargano turns right around on the clothesline from JT Dunn. Then the back elbow. Gargano looking for a kick out of desperation, but sent crashing into the canvas, and JT Dunn with another drop kick. Now JT Dunn, that's like that suicide dive. Wiping out Johnny Gargano on the floor. Now looking to take a page out of Jargan Johnny Gargano's book with those repeated suicide dives. Gargano was up on the apron looking for the spear again, but instead he ate a boot. Now flying over the top rope is JT Dunn. Doing home to himself just to inflict more punishment on Johnny Gargano. You can see him favoring that leg. But JT Dunn has to get Gargano in the ring to pin him. I don't think that JT Dunn would like to pick up a victory via counter. I'm not sure what that would accomplish or what that would prove. Gargano beat him a couple weeks ago by decisively in the center of the ring. And that's what JT Dunn needs to do right here to Gargano. JT Dunn was forced to tap out to the Gargano escape. And we will see if history repeat itself here tonight. JT Dunn perhaps looking for that real barrel, lung blower, and maybe even a standing slice bread. But we see the word fart etched on the back of the tights of Johnny Gargano, and Gargano is not gonna stay down, he's not gonna give up. If anything, JT Dunn used to be looking for that knockout blow. And if he was looking for a hurricane run right there, instead he ate the power bomb. Johnny Gargano has been the Dragon Gate USA Open the Freedom Gate champion for well over a year. It's gonna be close to two years by now. And he has turned away all challenges. Even though that title is not on the line right here, you gotta think that he's fighting for more than that, for pride. To prove here to the fans of Chicopee, Massachusetts, it's the first time he's ever competed in this part of the country. Why he is one of the most hype wrestlers on the seat. You have to live up to those expectations. And Johnny Gargano is one of the few wrestlers that absolutely does. I would say the same for JT Dunn. With every contest, win, lose, or draw, this kid has more and more hype. Right now, these two just exchanging kicks. The center of the ring, but it's JT Dunn that came out on top. Dunn, you gotta get over to your opponent, you gotta roll him onto his back, and you gotta get that one, two, three. Tell you what though, when you eat kick after kick like that, it's only a matter of time before the body gives out, even if the mind is willing. The referee issued a count right here. If he reaches the count of 10, this match will be ruled a draw. But whoever gets to their feet first is gonna have that advantage. And right now it's hard to tell. It looks like it might be Gargano. JT got sent to sent to the apron where he caught himself. The back brain kick, but instead of going for the suck it bomb, got caught with that inverted atomic drop. Oh no, he's gonna watch out for the lawn dart! That was really the turning point at American Rana, when Johnny Gargano hit that lawn dart on JT Dunn, perhaps the damnedest execution that I had ever seen of that move. Looked like he had shortened JT Dunn's neck by a couple inches. I don't know how JT continued the match after that, to be perfectly honest with you. And Gargano perhaps signaling for the end, waiting for his opponent to get a position so he can hit that full Nelson face buster, which he has dubbed the Hurts Donut. That's exactly what he's looking for right here. Dunn had a few counters at American Rana. But does Gargano have counters for those counters now in their second bout? 
that sunset flip, Gargano rolls right through. Potential knockout blow, that kick to the side of the head. Gargano not looking for a pin, wasting time right here. What is he doing? Come on, Gargano. Should be treating your opponent with a little bit more respect than that. Waiting for JT Dunn to get back up to his feet. That was a mistake. And JT Dunn lifting his opponent, driving the knee right into his skull. Oh! And what an angle. He's going to beat right here. He's going to say what an angle that Johnny Gargano landed on his back with that blue thunder lung blower. Tossed up high, came down on the knees of JT Dunn before smacking the back of his head. And that is not a maneuver to the best of my knowledge that JT Dunn was able to nail on Johnny Gargano at American Lana. So it's no surprise that Johnny Gargano did not have it scouted. JT Dunn, some have dubbed him the new knockout kid. Gonna be looking for that ripcord elbow. Ah, oh, but walked right into the Hurts Donut. Gets shrugged off on the ropes. Oh, super kick to the back of the head. Gargano responds with one of its own. Now looking to rebound. Right into the Hurts Donut. Gargano's gonna beat. One, two. Close call, Gargano. Not wasting any time getting to the Gargano escape. And JT Dunn may suffer the same fate as two weeks ago at American Rana when Gargano forced him to tap out. Got the official checking on him. Gargano's lost his grip as JT tries to muscle his way over the ropes. Gargano's gonna be forced to break the hold. Just seconds away from being disqualified. I don't know what Johnny Gargano was doing arguing with the official right here. That was a fair call. Look at the look on Johnny Gargano's face. I think the face tells the entire story. Johnny Gargano looking to do some serious damage out here on the apron. Of course, Johnny Gargano suffering that back injury. The final match at the ECW Arena after taking a nasty spill on the apron. But that time he went for the spear, got caught with a super kick. Now we see the ripcord elbow. The question is, did JT Dunn knock him out? Oh. JT Dunn, not wasting any time though. Instead of getting frustrated, has his sights set. Once again on Johnny Gargano. Now the elbow pad comes off. The problem is he has to get Johnny Gargano in a vertical standing position or to hit the elbow. Well, Gargano was out of the way the first one. He got caught with the second one. And that time JT Dunn knocked out Johnny Gargano. Once again, fans, I urge you to pick up American Rana on DVD to see the first encounter. And check out NEFW when they return to Chicopee, Massachusetts on October 19th.